many, many years ago when it was my goal to run the Boston Marathon faster. As I learned about that course and the fact that there was so much downhill, especially late in the course, I really focused on improving my downhill running technique and form, and I think that really helped me to run that race faster. Without question, you know, we always seem to focus on generating more force and getting up the hill faster, and that's important. But handling the downhills really well, in my opinion, is free speed, because we can use gravity to just let us fly if only we would optimize our downhill running technique. What I basically say is it's teaching your body to fall forward and training your legs to land under you more quickly, almost to catch up with your falling body. So in this little video, I want to talk a little bit about optimizing downhill running technique. Now, if we think about how we want to run downhill more effectively, it's really to utilize thinking of a circle or a ball and rolling downhill. That's really the way you want to do it. So your technique is such that your body's not going to be horizontal. It's really going to be perpendicular to the angle of the surface that you're running downhill on. So you can see this line sort of represents a vertical line. And these lines represent that orientation of this runner's body to the downhill slope. As the, as the downhill slope would get steeper, of course, at some point, you're not going to be able to keep your body perpendicular. But for most grades, that is the goal. Now, the idea as you learn to become perpendicular and get your body forward is to learn how to, re how to relax and get the feet underneath you. The tendency for most runners is to sit back into their heel and create sort of a braking action to to try to create some control and some balance. So the idea with these downhill sessions inside the Get Fast plan is to ideally go to a, uh, an area where you've got a softer surface. I love golf courses. If you can get on the fringe and get away from the, the guys with the swinging clubs, you can find some really nice gentle slopes to practice and just learn how to let your feet catch up with your falling body. The act of running downhill with very fast legs that you learn how to turn over quickly to get your feet underneath you is very similar and in line with our general recommendations to keep stride rate up rather than let it slow. As our stride rate tends to, to get slower, we tend to create more of a loping stride and then when we're running downhill there's a lot of braking and a lot of ground reaction forces uh, and that can be very damaging and also very obviously very impactful for the body. So the idea with these training sessions is to find a gentle slope, learn how to just let yourself fall forward. I can think of many sessions I did going way, way back. This is going back probably into the late 1980s and early 1990s where I would literally learn to fall forward and just relax and get my legs flying really, really quickly. And at times I'd almost lose my balance and fall forward and luckily I was on a soft surface of, uh, of, of some grass. But you can find grass, the soft dirt trail, uh, wood chips, something of that nature rather than asphalt. Much, much better to be on a soft surface. And just learn to get your legs moving quickly. So these downhill sessions where you're working to optimize your body position to enhance your downhill running technique will get you moving your legs more quickly and that will help therefore improve your coordination and skill and get you used to striding at a faster rate of speed. As a general rule, I believe the smaller among us, the perhaps some of us are around five feet tall or so, some of the more petite women, your stride rate should be up over a hundred stride cycles per minute or close to 200 strides. And uh, moving all the way up to to some of us that might be six foot or taller, we're going to be lower on that end, but I think everybody's going to want to aim toward at least 90 stride cycles per minute. One of the tendencies that will occur sometimes as we learn to fall forward or to lean forward is to bend at the waist and allow our trunk to sort of lean over. That's not what we want. So push your hips forward and let your hips lead and keep your postural alignment much as we see with this simple stick figure. You don't want to be bent over at the waist. 
If you can just practice getting your feet moving and allow yourself to relax a little bit more and keep your feet under you as you're running downhill, with practice, your skill will improve and it really is a skill. One last thing I want to mention. You can see that there's a gradual slope here and then what I've done is leveled off this surface and that's exactly the way I outline those sessions inside the Get Fast plan. So the idea is to practice that downhill skill and then carry it into a flat where you keep the same position. And as you're running over uh, terrain that changes, take advantage of your improved skills in the downhill. No more heartbeats to run downhill faster. You'll beat your body up less and go faster also. That's free speed and that's really going to help you in your races this season and beyond. All right. Thank you.